Hi everyone, Chris from ProFlight Trainer. We have received quite a few requests to create a short vid about axis assignment and calibration for X-Plane 1120 VR Beta. So here we go. Uh, as always, you want to do first your Windows game controller calibration. Those data are going to be carried over to X-Plane. So it's very important that you do that first. You can check the range. If you haven't calibrated, uh, you need to go through the calibration first, but you can also check that all the ranges are going max and minimum for every single axis. If not, then please um, perform a calibration. We have covered that in another video, so you can follow that on our YouTube channel or in our user guides if you need to calibrate under Windows. Once that's done, you can launch X-Plane I'm still using the demo on that computer and then once you say new flight if it's the first time you launched explain with the ProFly Trainer plugged in it's going to tell you that you have an unconfigured joystick or yoke found. I'm going to open the joystick configuration and you're going to see here all the axes have are empty and if you scroll down you'll see that there's nine numbers and axis zero to axis 8 labeled. First you want to do a calibration. You can see that the device is selected here. If you have multiple devices make sure to select the right one and calibrate it. Again in the calibrate window you can scroll down to show all the axes uh, so that it will show the movement. In my configuration the cyclic ended up being axis 8 and 9 Collective axis 7, Yo pedals axis 6, and then throttle axis 5, and then I have a modification that allows me to have two additional axes, 3 and 4. Once I've done that multiple times, I'll just accept the axis, and it turns blue as soon as I accept it, and ignore the two axes that I don't want to use. Next is asking me to put cyclic center for five seconds. So I do that with pedals and uh, wait for five seconds. Explain has now found my center and now you can see that the bar start to move and make sense. Uh, by the way, in the control sensitivity, I'm suggesting 100% on control response and 0% on stability augmentation, but that will probably change as more and more add-on are migrated to uh, this version of Xplain, then we might have you might have to change that uh, to your like. Anyway, so I'm going to start on the lower portion here. I'm going to move uh, my ProFlight Trainer control one by one to make sure which axis is what. So here I'm going cyclic left right so I know this is going to be my roll. So I select roll and then this one is going to be uh, pitch and then you can see as soon as you select pitch or roll you'll have the center shown and you can check if your center is calibrated properly. Next I'm going to move collective. This is going to be my axis number six and the name is going to change as soon as you save this uh, configuration. Five will be pedals, so moving pedals. That's my yo. I like the little symbol that are added to make it easier to check what it is. This is going to be throttle. Of course I want to take that throttle, not the single throttle. I only have one throttle axis here. And then here I'm just going to quickly assign those two axes. You won't have any on your Puma, but I have a modification for uh, two brakes on mine. So I'm just going to quickly assign those. You can go ahead and create a user profile. And for example, you can give it the name PFT Puma or just Puma. My keyboard is giving me a hard time here. There you go. Save a new profile this way you shouldn't lose your setup and if you end up losing it next time you start you just select this. Um, let's go, let's launch a quick flight. It's going to take a couple seconds. I don't have a last generation computer here but uh, we should be going in a couple seconds here. So the thing you really need to remember 
is that uh, if you don't scroll down in those calibrating windows and things, you're not going to see the axis all the way down. And then if you search just for the first four or five axes, depends on your window size and everything, then you're not going to see it. Um, I'm waiting for the aircraft to launch. It's going to be the default helicopter pre-installed with X-Plane. And then I'm just going to go down in the virtual cockpit and then you can see my cyclic left right forward backward I have uh, rudder good collective are good if you see that when you press the right pedal the left pedal moves and all you need to do is you go back to the joystick assignments search for the yaw axis and just reverse the axis now in my case if I press right now the pedal the left pedal came in because it was correct uh, before I reverse the axis. So I'm just going to reverse again. And uh, that's it. Not much else to say. Have fun with uh, VR and Puma. And uh, we hope for lots of add-ons to be imported into that fantastic new simulator. And we are, of course, very happy about native support for VR. Happy landings!